Hello everyone! Today we will talk about how to create a campaign using Bulkfile. But before that, let me tell you what Bulkfile is all about and what and how it contributes to an Amazon business and to you as an Amazon virtual assistant. Bulk files allow you to create different reports in just a few clicks and with the help of a few filters. Using reports created from bulk file data, you can easily measure the performance of your ad groups, ads, and keywords for a specific period of time. So it basically means that it allows advertisers to create, manage, and optimize multiple campaigns at a scale, saving time and minimizing manual effort. So this is how you basically do it. First, you have to have your bulk operations template ready, and you can download this directly from your Amazon Seller Central account. Once downloaded and you open up the file, you will see on this first row some information, which is the product, the entity, operation, campaign ID, ad group, portfolio ID, so on and so forth. So these are guides for you to be able to know what information you would need to put on each of these columns. So first thing what we would have to do is we need to put in the information needed under the product column tab. So for this one the product since we will be doing a sponsored products campaign we should put in here sponsored products. All right, and the next to sponsored products under entity is campaign. And right after that, under operations, since we will be doing a new campaign or creating a new campaign, so the word should be create or the command should be create. And as for the campaign ID, for your new campaigns, you should type a text-based name to identify your campaign and you will enter this exact campaign ID for each entity you create underneath this parent campaign. So let's say the campaign ID for this one is Office Supplies or let's say Office Supply 2023. As for the ad group ID, just leave it blank. Portfolio ID, uh, if you want to put the new campaign into a portfolio or like a folder, you have to enter the portfolio ID. But in this case, let's just leave it blank first since we, we are just creating a new campaign. And as for the I ad ID, leave it blank, keyword, product targeting, and for the campaign name, as I mentioned earlier, uh, the information that we need to put in here is this one. Campaign ID, it's just the same as the campaign name. So we can just like copy and paste this one. And for the ad group, leave it blank. Now let's go on to the start date. So as for the start date, the format must be year, month, and date. So for example, the date is, let's say, 2023, and then the month will be 05, and then the date is 20, 22nd. So this is the date that we will be starting the, uh, the advertisement or we will be running the ads. As for the end date, you can leave this field blank if you don't want to set an end date. Otherwise, the format will be the same as the start date. So the year, the month, and the date. All right, so let's go on to the targeting type. As for the targeting type, since we are doing a manual um, a manual campaign we will be putting in manual 
right next to manual is this, the state column so on this particular cell we can put in enabled alright so next to state is daily budget do not include symbols such as dollar signs for example if your daily budget is, is fifteen dollars it should be written as 15 so 1 5 as for the SKUA scene add group default bid bid and keyword text and match type just leave this blank and then for the bidding strategy this one similar to what we see on the user interface we can actually choose a bidding strategy so we have three first is the dynamic bids down only dynamic bids up and down and the fixed bid so let's go with dynamic bids down only For the placement percentage product targeting expression, we will have to leave it blank. So after all of those steps that we did, your bulk sheet file would look something like this. Alright, so the next thing that we will be doing is we need to fill in information on this third row. So under the product column, the information is still the same, which is sponsored products we can just like copy and paste this one and then the entity since we are on the add group level the entity should be add group and then for the operation it's just the same create we can just like drag this down create there you go for the campaign ID it's also the same office supply 2023 all right so right next to campaign ID is the ad group ID so this time we will be filling in information on this particular cell so let's do mouse pad all right so as for the portfolio ID, ad ID, keyword, product targeting ID, campaign ID, or campaign name rather, we will have to leave this blank and we will go right on to the ad group name. On the ad group name, we will have to enter the same name that we've entered in the ad group ID column. So mouse pad, let's just copy this one and then paste this one here alright so the start date we will have to leave this blank the start date is already set on the campaign level and applies to all the child entities so the information is already here so we will go right on to the next column which is the state the state should be enabled as well and then for the daily budget SKUA scene we should leave it blank and let's go on to the ad group default bid which is this one and for the ad group default bid you have to enter an exact figure with no money symbols and use a decimal point not a comma for example if you want to set an amount of 75 cents you have to enter 0 0.75 so let's say 0 0.75 is the ad group default default bid alright and for bid keyword text match type bidding strategy placement percentage and product targeting expression we should leave all of this blank and after adding the ad group entity your bulk sheets file 
would look like would look something like this. All right, so the next step that we're going to do is we need to define the product ad entity. So we're done with campaign and ad group, and the next entity would be the product ad entity. So same with this one, the product sponsored products since we're doing a sponsored products ad campaign and the entity should be product ad and then for the operation still the same create you can just like copy and paste this one or we could like um, drag this down and for the, the campaign ID it's still the same office supply 2023 and then the ad group ID enter this the exact same ad group name that we've entered earlier or ad group ID so mouse pad and then as for the portfolio ID ad ID keyword ID product targeting ID campaign name, ad group name, start date, end date, targeting type, we should leave all of those blank and we will be diving on or we will be going on to the the state column and then it's just the same enabled and then for the daily budget we also have to leave this one blank for the uh, SKU for sellers you should enter the products the product SKU and for vendors leave the SKU field blank since we were we will be doing this for an Amazon FBA seller we should put in a, an SKU here let's just put in an example let's say BR5419 and then as for the ad group default bid bid keyword text match type bidding strategy placement percentage and product targeting expression we should leave all of those blank so at this point your file would look like this so the next step that we will be doing is we will be creating the keyword targeting entity so under the product column it's still the same sponsored products and then as for the entity this time we'll be putting in keyword and then for the operations it's create for the campaign ID it's the same thing office supply 2023 Ad group still the same as well, mouse pad. And then as for the portfolio ID, ad ID, and keyword ID, we should leave, leave this blank. Same with product targeting ID, uh, campaign name, start date, end date, targeting type, we should leave this all blank. And let's go on to state still the same thing enabled as for the daily budget SKU ASIN add group default bid let's leave all of those blank and let's go on to the bid on this particular column or on the cell you have to enter the CPC or the cost per click amount that you are willing to pay when a shopper clicks your ad so be sure your bid is within the limits of your region do not use money symbols or commas. For example, to bid 75 cents, you have to enter 0 0.75. So as for the keyword text column, this is now where you put those highly relevant keywords. Let us say I've already made my keyword research and I've already gathered all the data. Um, mouse pad large so this
this is one of the highly relevant keywords uh, for example and then the match type we have three options we have broad praise and exact so let's say this keyword is broad for broad all right so to create multiple keywords you just have to add a new row or new rows for each keywords so let's say aside from this keyword we will be adding two additional keywords so what we will have to do is highlight and drag this information down there you go so the uh, product sponsored products just the same and the entity keyword then create the campaign ID however you should check this one because upon dragging the information some of the information on the campaign ID column change so this one should be uh, this one should be 2023 and also this one the ad group ID still the same mouse pad so let's go on to the bid column we can like change this one let's say 35 cents so it's gonna be 0 0.35 and let's do another keyword let's say gaming mouse pad and then for the match type let's do phrase alright and as for this one let's do 0 0.25 cents and let's try red mouse pad and and this one let's change this to exact match type so after filling in these informations on the spreadsheet this is how it will look like now and then once you're ready to create the campaign you should save the file and then navigate back to the bulk operations page on the Amazon Seller Central account and then upload your file to update your campaigns so that's pretty much about it and I hope you learned something from this video I'll see you on the next one